。呢個係少用嘅字 iterate， 呢個咧就係多用嘅字 reiterate。兩個字都解重複，完全冇分別嘅。例句 ：The workers reiterated their demands。工人重申佢哋嘅要求。如果你認為 reiterate 呢個字太深嘅，大可以用 repeat。R E 係個常用字首，可以解 again。嗱 ，repeat 就係重複啦。如果我哋講 repeat again， 就變咗係重複後再重複。除非你真係有咁嘅意思，否則咧嗰、那個 again 字就多餘嘅，形成語言學上 redundancy 用詞。睇多個例，你寫咗篇文章，覺得唔滿意 ，you can rewrite it 重寫，諗清楚先要講 rewrite it again。語言專家話。每逢用 R E 開始嘅動詞咧，想清楚先至用 again 呢個字。呢、这個修辭學上嘅準則咧，中文都一樣有嘅。我哋講重複，想清楚究竟前邊應唔應該用又或者再呢？繼續講 R E 呢個字首，除咗有 again 嘅意思咧，仲有 back 嘅意思，等於中文回頭嘅回字。例句 ：He returned to the office. Placed the book on the shelf. 有啲人一時不察會咁樣講嘅噃。He returned back to the office. He replaced the book back on the shelf. 兩句裏邊嘅 back 用得好多餘，形成咗意思重疊。如果堅持用 back 嘅，唯有講 He went back to the office. He put the book back on the shelf. R. E. 普遍到咧，語言專家提出中局話唔好將佢同任何嘅動詞配合，好似 go 咁冇 re go 嘅。Come 冇 recome 嘅 ，meet 都唔能夠講 remeet。如果要講再次或者回頭嘅意思，唯有話 go again 啊 ，go back。Come again, come back. Meet again。我哋睇文章，真係發現有啲作家故意作啲新字出嚟嘅。對我哋嚟講，我提議，凡係新出版字典冇嘅字咧，一律唔好用。我哋以前講過兩個及物動詞 discuss to mention。我哋話 discuss something。Mention something 唔可以講 discuss about something. Mention about something. 今日講嘅咧就係呢個字。有兩個讀法，名詞讀 estimate， 動詞讀 estimate。嗱個分別咧就在於最後個音節一個係 it， 另外一個咧就係 eight。而家用動詞做例句。We estimate his income at ten thousand dollars a month. 或者 We estimate his income to be ten thousand dollars a month. 而家用被動語態。His income is estimated at 或者 to be ten thousand dollars a month. 句句都啱曬。唔應該學嘅咧就係呢句。His income is estimated at about ten thousand dollars a month. 問題就出自在 about 呢個字啦。點解咧？因為我哋講 estimate 一定係估計啦，估計嘅一定係約數嚟嘅。再加嘅 about 裏邊啲意思重疊。如果我哋提出嘅係個實數。咁樣講係足夠噶啦。His income is ten thousand dollars a month。根據 informal English 作用英語 can 可以當做 may 嘅同義詞，仲係英國人一般嘅習慣添。好似 can I sit down 等於 may I sit down。但如果想一絲不苟或者寫文章咧，都係分清楚好。Can 表示能力 ，may 表示許可。你睇呢個例。有個細路仔想睇電視，問阿媽 ：Can I watch TV？ 阿媽咁樣答 ：Of course you can, but you may not。意思咧就係你當然識得睇電視咧，坐喺度擘大眼就得噶啦嘛。但係唔準睇啊！有些少開玩笑之嫌，但係可以説明 can 同 may 之間嘅分別。服務行業嘅人咧，成日都講呢啲句語 ：Can I come in？Can I take the plate away？Can I help you？ 冇錯噶，但係咧，如果想加添禮貌，咁樣好啲，用曬 may。May I come in? May I take the plate away? May I help you? 你睇下，學語言就有咁嘅困難，既要學識俗語，又要學識點樣因環境而應變。話有個人明知唔應該走都走咗，英語可以咁講 ：He left despite the fact that he knew he should not leave. 話有個人遲到，因為架車壞咗 ，He was late due to the fact that his car broke down. 嗱兩句嘅英語都啱曬 grammar 啱曬，但係啲語言專家咧就認為好論盡，論盡在 despite the fact that 同 due to the fact that 應該咁樣改法。He left although he knew he should not leave. He was late because his car broke down. 
有好多人，尤其是啲學生啊，往往輕視嗰啲所謂淺字，認為 although 同 because 太平凡啦，唔知道簡潔就係無以上之嘅優點。你睇下 ，despite the fact that 有四個字，如果你用 in spite of the fact that 咧，仲有六個字 ，although 得一個字 ，due to the fact that 有五個字 ，because 得一個字，至少永遠好過字多。